Hello friends, this will take a little bit longer because I want to go with you through all the fusion effects in DaVinci Resolve. There will probably be some that are only available in the studio version, but just go along with it. If the video is too long, I will make some chapters so that you can switch easily between the different effects. Let's go, go to the effect panel. And then we go here to the effects library and here we have our head of fusion effects and let's start with the binoculars. Open the inspector and here we can see that we have uh, the blur strength, makes sense, aberration distance. So if you set it at zero, there's no aberration at all, then it will also make no sense to have the aberration strength. So you have to use them both in combination. Vignetting and everything. And as is true for every effect that you will find here within the fusion effects, you can keyframe everything. So just get rid of it by deleting it and let's go to the colored border. It's very straight to the point, can change the soft edge. Let's have a look at the full screen, beautiful. Border width, corner radius. It's very self-explanatory. So let's go to the next one, a drone overlay. That's cool. Let's see that in full screen. There's some noise there. I really like that one. The only thing actually is that you can change here some color values, brightness. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Glow size. Yeah. I definitely like that one. And that's very interesting to keyframe in a setting depending on what your footage is. Of course with, with that still image here there's nothing where we can let that drone overlay let focus in and so forth. But you get the gist of it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Go to DVE. Whatever this may be, I don't know. D V E. Okay. I don't know where D V E actually stands for, but you can see that you have here different properties that are very self explanatory. Okay, it doesn't do very much for me. Graphic shape overlay. I don't see directly a uh, use for this one. Nothing comes up, but I guess you will. Oh, this, this looks, this looks freaky night vision. That looks like something. Oh yeah, that's that's it. That's interesting. I think that you can make a, a very cool transitions by using this night vision effect and then keyframe it in some way. Paper edge. We already had paper edge effect in another video. I f want to refer to that one. If you ask me, uh, of course you can invert that that makes more sense makes it interesting um i see the use of that here just like with the graphic shape overlay more or less the same okay and then of course interesting is to give it a certain position easy to experiment with so let's get rid of it for now stretch region Oh yeah, I see that makes that, that that weird mirror effect that you had on fairgrounds. Doesn't do anything good to our girl. Yeah, you get the we get the idea, so goodbye. Video camera. Um oh battery level. 
or did I just wanted to say that it would amuse me if we could if we could animate the battery level that would be cool and actually we can yes with a keyframe give it another color as well record light oh cool that's that's cool the uh, most important properties can be keyframed and animated that's that's nice Let's go to the CCTV. In the last video, we had the CCTV within the analog damage effect. And here, that's your uh, combination with the scanned lines effect. Digital glitch. There's something that makes me... makes Yeah, that's, that, this will be a nice, a very nice transition. If you want to transition between clips, that's cool. DSLR. It was what I expected. Okay, that's great. You can animate everything here just like in the other one. Next graphic cross overlay same thing as with the graphic shape overlay there is no use in my mind that will come up so at once where i think oh yeah that's cool i think it's cool if you have an idea for that i don't i don't have one highlight scratch stretch that's interesting name oh yeah I think that's also very, can be very nice of an effect for transitions. You can animate that, uh, put it maybe on a adjustment clip and then use it for transitions. Noise distortion. It reminds me a little bit on the watery effect that we had with the fast noise effect it's interesting i think if i had something like that in mind my first instinct would send me to the fast noise effect let's get rid of that let's see what the repeat does yeah i i think we get the gist of it what that does can also be very interesting if you do something with transitions, if you want to use it for a transition, some kind of. It's a nice effect. I wouldn't have a use for it right from the get-go. I think it all depends on what you are doing. Slice. Slice. Yeah, yeah. That's, definite, that's definitely something where I would see it for... Uh, transition effect oh yeah that's that's great I like that one video call yeah that's cool that's actually very cool very useful that takes a lot of work out of your hand if you want to simulate a video call I'm honestly a bit surprised I did that I didn't thought of of that because I would have looked for all the separate items and then put them together myself. Oh, it's great that it's here. And last watermark. Okay, if you need for whatever reason a watermark. Okay, you can put a logo in it. Just let's try that. Logo. Crack logo here. Use logo. Yeah, there we have it. Logo saturation. Change the size, the angle. Oh yeah, that's for the watermark text. But okay, it's uh, clear what it does. So for now, I wish you a very great day ahead. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.